I'm so excited to share this with you all. Give me just a minute. I need to bring up chat on my phone because that's how we're doing things now. That's the only way I can access my own chat when I'm playing something on the PC. So hold on. Drop on down into my chat. There we go. Boop. Zach has, oh, what is this? Mario's missing? No, 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 no. This, friend, is Everhood. It's a wonderful little game I discovered not too long ago. And the central conceit, as I understand it, is thus. This is a game heavily inspired by Undertale and other such, like, kind of postmodernish RPGs. Um, it really wears its heart on its sleeve. Where all of the combat is based around rhythm. Now, not necessarily us attacking or what have you, but every single enemy in the game is going to attack us in the form of a musical, a musical number, some kind of performance. And we are going to have to uh, time our dodges and other reactions to their performance. Hey, Pooey, yeah, it does sound interesting, man. Give me, give me just a minute to make sure I can access uh, chat properly. Um, home... Are we are we live? Um, should be live. There we go. According to this, I'm not live. Hold on. I have to find a way to access my chat. There we go. There we go. Zach says this sounds similar to Crypt of the Necrodancer, and I'm here for it. Indeed. Give me just a minute. I'm, I'm still working out the, the chat on my phone. There we are. Boom, boom. Okay, I should be able to... Okay, just let me know if you can hear the game, and if the game is not obscenely loud compared to myself. It may be obscenely loud. Give me one second. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Audio input capture... We'll take it down just a little. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, there you go. Epilepsy warning. And it is surreal as hell. But uh, Zach says levels appear good on my end. Thank you, thank you. An ineffable tale of the inexpressible divine moments of truth. Okay, this, this almost certainly is a little loud. Hold on. There we go. Press a button, it asks us. Ominously. Let's do this to ourselves. Oh god, what is that in the back? Is that Nick Nocturne? All right. New game, custom battles, settings or quit. Okay. All of this is fairly normal. There are accessibility options. Always love seeing those in a game. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's see, we've got five difficulties, and this is the second game I've played in as many days that informs me that hard is how the game is intended to be experienced. Okay, I always play through a game the first time on the difficulty the devs intend. Oh, alright. It's trippy, I'm already getting like a Ben Drowned vibe. It's gonna be like a musical, psychedelic creepypasta. I can get behind that. Howdy. We are delighted to see you. To enter this realm, you must leave your humanity, abandon your idea of time, and accept immortality. You can leave and return as you will, compared to your current life, where there's only one way out. Do you agree to abandon humanity, time, and accept immortality? Zach says they seem friendly. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I have to. Um... How do I, how do I interact with this? 
Um, hold on. There we go. Excellent. Like the human world. We have blurred the lines of the purpose, but the road is clear. It's after all, for your own amusement. Oh, chat, I'm going to need some serious help interpreting any deeper messages this game has to convey. So yeah, the Undertale inspirations are pretty clear right from the start. I like that. Is... Is this us? Is any of this us? Oh, we're this little gnome or thief in the old Golden Axe tradition? Zack says, yeah, that opening was straight out of Deltarune. Nice, I need to get around to playing Deltarune. I've heard great things. Wait, is every character in the game going to be accompanied by some kind of, uh, motif? Oh, that is wicked. This game's received pretty decent reviews. So this is us. We look just a bit like Gino from... Mario RPG. I've no idea where I got that from, but that's just what, what it's saying to me. Oh, hello. It seems like the wooden doll has started walking. I didn't think you'd wake up. Hmm. It seems you're missing an arm. I can't let you pass till I know you can fend for yourself. We're going to have to battle with the bluegrass frog? Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay, so we can jump over certain attacks and move to the side to dodge others. Ooh, shoot. Oh, God. We want to stay to the side if we can help it. Oh god. The timing is really tight, actually. I like that. And of course I love the soundtrack. Very funky. Ah. Okay. And we can move to the side while in midair. Okay, that's really good to know. Different attacks are color-coded differently based on, I don't think their power, but just kind of what notes they are. Like the full chords he's playing appear as broad yellow attacks, individual notes as greens and simple repetitive strumming, or no, like the percussion appears as small blue notes. Oh god. Woo! Oh, this got crazy all of a sudden. Jesus! This is the tutorial? Oh my god! This is intense, but I love it! You done? You done, man! Is he done? Hey, we did it! <laughs> that was so cool! Oh my god, Zack says kill, and I'm digging the combat system. Oh, so am I! And how fast will let you jump in sequence, like if you tap it, tap it? It's about once per beat. I have a feeling this pace of our movement is going to change, or like the maximum pace of our movement is probably going to change with the, the beats of some of these songs. That was funky! Yeah, Zach, you're right, man. This is awesome. Oh, it's a it's a shame that uh it's a shame that Maya and the others aren't here to see this live, because I think especially this would be right up her alley. One thing before you leave. Make sure to interact with that lamp to save your progress. Huh? I am awake! Talk to me to save. I am Zach says adding to Steam wish list. Oh, absolutely. This is gonna be really hard, but it's so much fun. Oh my god. Thank you, frog. 
Stay away from cats. They're all trouble. I won't bother you anymore unless you want to battle again. Oh, we can challenge them to rematches. That's so cool. If we have like a favorite song or what have you. Oh, man. This is so good. Um, I've been getting into games like this that incorporate rhythm and music in ways less straightforward and more complex than your standard, like, Simon Says style, um, rhythm game, ever since I played No Straight Roads on the channel late last year. Or no, sorry, early this year, which is one of my favorite games of all time now. It's just beautiful. Zach says, fight the frog, he a funky ass fool. No, not now, not now. I want to, I want to see who else we've got here. Because I think if we challenge him again, it'll just be the same, the same, um, number once again. There, there won't be any added complexity. Hold on. We're getting a beat. Are we going to have to throw down with this bouncer? Oh no, no, I've seen promotional images. We're gonna have to fight the ATM for some reason. Which I assume is going to fight with techno or, like, trance music? A peaceful forest. Yeah, sure. We're gonna cycle our saves. You best believe we are. Let's go talk to the ATM first in case it's an optional fight. Welcome to the automated terror machine. Would you like to withdraw schmucks? <laughs> Zach says, fucking ATM fees, they deserve to die. Fair. In order to withdraw schmucks, you must insert your soul. Oh, that's straight up flowy. Look at the way the features are aligned. That's... This is so nice. Let's do it! This is a totally optional fight, I think. Am I way over my head now? I have no idea. It's in 3D! What? Okay, so it completely blocks a couple lanes off for a time. So its attacks are nowhere near as broad as the frogs, but they're way more hectic, like in their patterning. Like it's just raining hellfire all along the entire uh, arena. Okay, we got this. Just try to stay out of the way as best we can. Is that it? Is it down? No way. Tried to fake us out, but I hear the beat. There's more to this. Yep. Gotta look out for those massive chains of uh, orange attacks. And sorry if I'm a little slow on reading chat during this playthrough, uh, I have it to the side on my phone, and the nature of this game really precludes reading during, uh, battles, I'm afraid. Okay. Still not done. Now well, these battles are pretty beefy. Okay. Just generally try to stay out of the way. That seems to be the name of the game right now. Is that it? Hey, my! Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed what you just saw. This is the secret project I've been alluding to. It's a wonderful rhythm game based around avoiding a series of attacks that are unleashed to a beat. We started off by fighting um a bluegrass or a techno bluegrass playing frog, and now we just, for no reason at all, picked a fight with an ATM in this really groovy, 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 um, techno number. Hope you're enjoying. No schmuckle currency is currently available. Please receive a complimentary schmuckle ticket instead. Sure, fine, why not? Oh, we do have an inventory. You wish to battle for your soul? Nah. I do like that we can replay any of the the um, battles, however. We'll go ahead and save again. We're probably going to need that schmuckle ticket at some point. Oh, you know there's going to be some... some throwdowns inside the dance club. The pink stone guard. You have schmuckle ticket. I take the ticket. Oh, are we not going to get to fight you? 
Well, that's a shame. Because I have a feeling that a musical battle against the Stone Guard would rock. I, I, I'm i sorry, I'll go into the disco now. Hey! I'm so tired of having to work in loud environments like these. But you've got to do what you got to do until you're done. That's what it's all about, right? I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, looks like... Zach says, I hunger for funky blood. Oh, me too. The VIP. It's a luminous panel. It says VIP, obviously. Duh. Okay, we need a VIP card, which I'm sure we can get... Oh, look at all these characters! Their designs are so cool! Now, I know for a fact, again, from promo images, we can fight this thing. But let's see who else we can square off against here. Hi there, dollface. How did you lose your arm? Sorry, that might have been too personal. My condolences. My memory chips haven't been working well lately. But some say ignorance is bliss. Do you need a drink? Yes. Wait, sorry, we're out of stock. I keep forgetting that. Oh, I thought we could battle him. Zach says it's Boba Fett and Bender. It is so many cute characters. Nosferatu. Oh, with a drippy nose. Oh, what a beautiful pun. I usually don't come to social places like these. I usually don't like bright lights. I usually don't have anything to do. Oh man, it's me! Sorry, but I think it's good to give things another chance. That is, that is just straight up me. Okay, I, I dig this guy. Knight lost a lot. Gold pig has made me work so much. Now I just want to have a good time and relax. Zach says in like five different Draculas, yeah, and a mushroom. Red dead mushroom? <laughs> We mushroom people usually play in the woods. You should come visit someday. We love to play hide and seek, but nobody wants to be the seeker. Maybe someday. Ludwig. I love dancing. It's the best thing I know. But I do like drinking blood, too. I'm getting kind of thirsty. Too bad your wooden limbs don't seem to have any blood in them. Okay. Oh, no. You. Desecrated a two million schmuck drink. What do you have to say for yourself? You don't seem to understand what you've got yourself into, kid! Is that straight up a reference to Sans' dialogue from uh, the worst route in Undertale? Zack says, I love him. Me too. Oh, this is how we get our card. I'm a VIP, and hoodlums like you are not going to get away unpunished. Oh, I am... I'm a little frightened. Oh, listen to that beat. Oh, Christ. Okay, so he attacks... Oh, largely on the downbeat, but we can't jump over some of these attacks. I see, I see. Okay, so he's not actually performing any kind of music. He's just dancing. And he's kicking all these walls at us, so we've got to shuffle as well. Alright, alright. Not overwhelming so far. Now two at a time. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Can't jump these, so we've got to really move. Oh, God. Hiding out on the sides while our HP regenerates generally seems to be the best way to go about dealing with wounds. Look at it! He's shaking the entire club! Oh my god! Wow! This is so sick! Oh! We damaged him somehow, I think. Uh-huh. I got you. There, there's no musical component here. He's just staring us down. I love it. Yep, and now we've got to deal with both at once. Oh my god. Oh my lord. 
This is so cool! Listen to that synth just going for all it's worth! Oh my god. No way we could get hit by that. Checkpoint? What? It's not over? You're faster than I thought. But I have not. Huh? Unleashed one of my strongest attacks. Oh no! Oh no! Marathon Red Death? Oh god, please no. No, I was I was proud of myself. Don't take this away from me. Oh, wait for the drop. Is this like this game's equivalent to Papyrus, like this is when it starts getting real? Oh, I should have fought the dog thing at the bar first. I I'm sure we'll still have a chance, but. Okay. So he's just going to unleash an absurd amount of lasers. Oh god. Oi. There we go. Just gotta hang in there because now he's gonna start firing certain beams a little faster than others. So we can't hang out on the periphery because he starts firing beams that target those rows later. Yep. Or, sorry, first. Oh, here we go again. Easy, 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 we got this. We got this! If I could handle the frog's final assault, I could handle this. My dude, are you done? <laughs> All that dancing and staring and screaming has got to get kind of tiring. He was not joking when he said Marathon Red Death, was he? This can't be the end. No? Yeah! Dig that! Oh my god, let's get caught up on uh, chat really quickly. Zach says, I'll give Christmas to Angry Boy. Uh, Maya says, oh, I love the word hoodlum. Yeah, no, this game's got a lot of charm and it's quite well written. Zach says, I aspire to his level of style. You fucked up his sunglasses, how could you? He had reserves. He had spares. He came prepared. Um... Zach says, I'm buying this game immediately, and fuck stage two. Yeah, we got it, though. We got it. <laughs> stage two wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. Um, Mai says, fuck it up, business mohawk vampire. He, he was cool. I, I dig. I dig the rave vampire. Ugh, I'm so burned out. Let's take this piece of paper now. The Rasta Beast? I hope you didn't hurt yourself from Zig's bothersome behavior. Lately, Zig's been in a very bad mood. I'm sure they'll apologize later for that. Okay, well, they're they're down for the count. Hello, is this? Please take this, a magic eight ball. Okay, did we miss an opportunity to fight Rasta Beast? I wouldn't think so. It's terribly sad if we did. A luxurious card written VIP. The backside says Ventriloquist Improviser Puppeteers Club. The C is silent. <laughs> okay. Oh, Zach says, God damn it, that's Gaster. Oh, Dr. Gaster from uh, Undertale? What the fuck? That's so cool! Can we fight them again? Or. Okay, so we have to leave maybe and come back. Please tell me I didn't miss an opportunity to fight Rasta Beast. That would suck. Let's go save real quick. Zach asks, is this a fucking fan game? No, it just takes heavy inspiration as far as I can tell. Hey, save point. Yes, I want to save. 
This is nice, yo! And to be fair, as cute as Undertale is, I enjoy the combat system here so much more. Looks good, tastes bad, fair enough. Good luck! What are we going to need luck for? Wait a minute, can we... Hold on, there was one more conversation with options. No dice, I guess. Well, we're gonna be on the lookout for souls. All right. Thank you, Maya. I hope you have a wonderful class. Good afternoon, and feel free to get in touch later on. Hey, we're a VIP. Yeah, thanks for the congrats, save point. Nice. Up we go. Um, so they said puppeteer, right? What is this? Uh, can I interact with something here? You've abandoned humanity and accepted immortality. Never forget. Actions speak louder in words before you can help. You must help yourself. Zach says ball. Yeah, yeah, I. that's what I thought, but there's nothing we can do. Maybe if we talk to this mushroom? Shh, this melody is so haunting. I love it. No! Hey, Schultzman, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, thanks for joining us. So, no, I think we're going to have to memorize these tones and play them back in sequence. Ah, that's how you found out, eh? Yep, here we go. So, just what's this tone? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Nope. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. To what end? I don't... Okay, so did we miss the opportunity to fight Rasta Beast altogether? That is quite disappointing. It's dark, it's cold, but I'm always here to light up the path. That you are. Thank you very much, save point. Oh, this is so charming. This is decidedly less charming. Um, so we've got Ganon and a Halloween witch. Oh, this is Gold Pig. Who let you in here? It's the doll I stole the arm from. Well, well, well. You come here to get your arm back? <laughs> you won't. You should have caught your thief when you had the chance. You'll only be an annoyance if I keep you around. It's better to get rid of you. Okay, so we don't get to square off with, with Gold Pig either. Instead, we land in some very Chrono Trigger looking sewers. With metal? Oh! Shoot! This is a battle of a sort as well. Okay! Okay! I'm all about this. As the background starts to burn away. Oh, that is so cool. Is there a sprint function available to us or anything of the like? No. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Yikes. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Zach says, I almost want to stop watching the stream so I can play this game blind, and holy shit, this owns... Yeah, yeah, like, by all means. Um, don't spoil yourself on my account, but uh, super glad to have you guys here, but wait. 
Were we supposed to die there? This doesn't seem like a standard fail state. Huh. Fascinating. Zach says, I love your commentary, but also I need to play this. Go right ahead then, man. I'm I'm not about to hold you back. Thank you for joining us. What is happening? What? Yep, and here's what we got the epilepsy warning for. What? Alright, Zach, take care, man. Um This uh this is not the frog that trained me. What what in the hell is that? Oh my god. This is so rad. No real explanation for it, but it is cool. And who on earth is this? What is this? What is going on? So we swap genres and uh, tempos about three times. And we're being attacked exclusively with these prismatic effects. That's really cool. Oh god. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, now we've got a beautiful piano melody. That's a little easier for me to work with, given my knowledge of music. Okay. Still no real indication as to what we're fighting. Some kind of spirit, perhaps? Would it have been possible to survive, um, Gold Pig's ambush? Or no? Hey, Seth! Welcome to the stream! I hope you're doing well, and I hope you guys had a wonderful community evening together. Um... I've been diving into this secret project that I waited a long, long, long time for. Um... In my fair few, um, hours free. Imagine Undertale, but with rhythm-based combat, eh? It's amazing. I love this game so, so much. Well, we... we... won against the spirit, I suppose? But... what is happening? I'm... totally at a loss- Oh, what is this? Or who is this? It's another battle! With a wider field of play. Okay. Okay, Rave Gnomes, I get you! So Rave Gnomes are the opponents tonight, ladies and gentlemen, okay! Sure. No idea why, but there's an army of them. Jeez. Ooh. Now just one. Now whatever this is. Sorry, a lot of my commentary is just going to be praise or complete and total incomprehension. Because this game is so good, but so trippy. And again, they were not joking about that epilepsy warning. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. Jesus Christ, okay. That background effect is a little much for me. And notice there is no story context for any of this. This is just happening. Who is that? What is happening? None of these have been bad songs. They've all been very, very trippy. Like, kind of trippy techno pieces with influences from other genres. But I don't mind that at all. It fits the game's aesthetic perfectly. Oh god. Woo! We got this. 
Um, what are they saying and why? These things again? No, the, these are different than the ones that were playing tennis with one of the gnomes. Which is a sentence that makes sense in this game for some reason. This is so bizarre. Sorry, I will get caught up on chat in just a moment. It's more than a little hectic. Okay, uh, now the field of play is being inverted. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, wow. Okay, now the other way, or no? Back to this. Okay. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. A lot of these battles are absolute marathons though, aren't they? At least they're all following a fairly consistent beat. Oh, good. Now the field of play has been eaten, or not. Now we've got after images appearing everywhere. This might be the strangest combat system I've ever seen. Undertale's was novel, this is just so bizarre. Oh god, here we go again. What is the cube doing? I do not trust the cube. Okay. Also, again, I, I know I've raised this question, but what on earth are we fighting and why? What is happening? Now the camera's distorting again. Right? Actually, this is less electro trance and closer to like the aesthetics of prog rock from back in the day. Are we done? Oh no, of course not. Is that the frog? Okay. Woo! That just happened. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. It seems you've returned early. This shouldn't be possible. Something is amiss. I cannot allow you to learn too much. It would interfere with your purpose. I'll restore your body as before you started to, um, drift away. I suggest you continue with what you were doing, but be careful. I could give some advice that would help you, but it's a secret that must stay between us. If you want, I can give you an absolute truth. This is certainly not the right way to do it, but it might help you, or it might horribly twist you. Do you wish to hear the absolute truth? No. If they say it's not the way to do it, I will listen. There's probably nothing to worry about. Now you must continue. I'll restore your body right before you died. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. Or were we supposed to survive the sequence in the furnace? No, no, we weren't. Never mind. We can climb out now, though. It's a hell of a detour, wasn't it? Ah, the thief. He's dead or dying? Wow, hey. So, gold pig stole my legs. Yeah, they're detachable, just like your limbs. I can't believe you survived the incinerator. No one survived it. Please take me with you. I'll help get your arm back from Gold Pig. Just don't leave me. Yeah, we'll help him. Fine. I weigh almost nothing. You won't even notice me. The Gold Pig escaped through the magical door. Okay. But what else can we explore? Well, we're gonna save first things first. Oh no, save point. We're we're good. Thank you. Just want to see if there's anything more we can do back in the club.
Ah, the vampire's gone. Entirely. Okay. Are they outside the dance club? Nope. Okay. Guess there's nowhere to go but forward. Y'all, I'm digging this so much. This game is right up my alley. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of secrets and optional fights we're gonna miss our first time through, but I've heard the game's fairly short, so we can always come back through for a second run, you know what I mean? I'm thinking the first run will be totally blind, and then we can do, like, a second run with anything we may have missed after I look up, like, what's possible, specifically what encounters. Hey, I'm just a door. I don't have a lot of responsibilities besides standing here. Do you really want to go after a big guy like that? I was impressed that they even got through me. Of course, Gold Pig has magic to make it easier, but imagine them having to fit through all the doors in the world. Maybe you should reconsider? After all, you're only searching for your arm. You seemed helpless to do anything about it last time anyway. Although, you did survive the incinerator somehow. No one else has done that. The corpses around you are proof of that. Stop stalling and let us pass. Okay. So we're going to be taken to an entirely different... Ooh! It's a hub world! With paths to all these different dimensions or stages. Hey, now! And what do you want to bet? Each of these, it's going to have its own aesthetic theme. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Where shall we begin? This... These two doors look kind of interesting. One of them is locked. Quite conspicuously so. I think we may want to start here with this archway. This door seems broken. There are pieces missing. Okay. We'll go through this rather plain looking one then. Oh, it's Gaster. This place gives me the creeps. I know it's empty, but something feels off. Please, let's leave, Red. Is this going to be like a super boss? I wish I could leave this place someday. Hey, guess what? You can. Eight ball? No? Is there anything else of interest here? So there, there may be not like different worlds, but just little character interactions we can have. All right. This one's locked. This one's accessible, the green one. <laughs> okay, we'll fight whatever that is later. Or not, the path reconfigured itself. A train? Hold up. Or no, sorry, that was a truck. Okay, I guess we've got to follow the path. I hope I didn't miss a bunch of optional stuff and just advance the story. Probably not, since that one door was locked. Oh, hey, check it out. It's a castle. Stop right there, Red Hood. I've been sent by the Gold Pig to stop you from reaching the Cursed Castle. Oh, it's all the people from the dance club. I order you to stop your quest at once. Go back where you came from and I won't hurt you. Uh, I'll resist. I imagine there's not that much to him. Or is he even going to fight us? Is this going to be a joke battle, if there's one? Call my bluff, huh? <laughs> I won't bother you. There's no point in it. I know I won't beat you anyway. No? Or yeah? Okay, may maybe we should go back and see what other paths are available to us first? Just follow this path all the way back down to the, the nexus, I suppose. Oh, there's the door. It didn't disappear after all. I'm just bad at navigation. What's all the way over here, then? Hmm. 
Nothing? It just triggered that eerie laugh sound effect earlier, I suppose. Let's just evaluate our options. Let's check out the distorted door. Midnight Town door. Hey, you fine piece of craftsmanship. Want to swing by Midnight Town? The nicest place around. That looks psychedelic and cool. We'll hold on. The carnival. So we've got the castle, the carnival, Midnight Town, and something that's locked. I have a feeling we'll have to come back for the locked one. Hold on. What purpose did that serve? What was that? I don't know. There's so many optional things to, to do here, no doubt. I guess we'll go to Cursed Castle first, then the Carnival, then Midnight Town. Unless one of these, like the castle, inadvertently sends us rocketing along uh, the main plot of the game inadvertently and we can't go back. Fingers crossed that won't be the case. Into this tunnel, I think? Oh, a minecart stage. Yay! No, we won't write it just yet. Is there anything else we can explore? Okay, I guess we will write it just yet. Is there going to be a minecart-based uh, rhythm battle? Of course there is. This is gonna be fun. Uh, can we use these... Ah! Switches to... advance the cart down the track. I see. We don't even have an opponent here, we've just got to make it down the tunnel. Ooh, this is funky! Dig that guitar! Very, like, early 80s funk right now. I'm digging it. Oh, we can see the end of the tunnel a good ways off. Or given this game something that looks like the end of the tunnel, but possibly isn't. Nope, that's it! We did it! Look at that! Impressive stuff. Now that was short, but a lot of fun. Address. Secret entrance to the Cursed Castle. Mailbox property of Irvine. Alright, well let's awkwardly shuffle our way up the stairs. And we could just walk right out the front gate? Yeah, to encounter- oh, this witch! Or the mage. This castle has a consciousness. Sometimes I hear it whisper. You're trying to find your arm? Red's also helping me. I see. That's kind of you. Maybe you're a kind person? You have a quest and you want to finish it. Everyone needs a purpose, and yours is an understandable one. Sometimes in the pursuit of the end, one might lose humanity. Make sure that you don't use you lose yours. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing more we can do here. Alright, so we want to... It sounds like, whenever we're given the choice, go against whatever the narrator is telling us to do. I can feel you running through my veins. Oh, it's the vampire! Slime Co? Oh, hello. Welcome to Slime Brothers Plank Service. My name is Flan, and this is my brother, Muck. That's me! We provide a plank renting service. What kind of plank are you looking for? Very long plank. The Diploma of Certification for Handling Very Long Planks. Okay, this is a battle against them, right? Yes, yes, please fight me. Yes, I'm just trying to find all the fights we can. So I wonder how they're going to work. Are they going to attack independently? Oh, they're playing planks. Playing planks quite well, I might add. 
So, Flan is playing, um, a very distortion-heavy electric guitar, and Muck is playing his like a bass, somehow. Very cool. I imagine they're going to start playing it once later on. Yep, here we go. Now I've got to deal with both of them at once. We can jump over almost all of Muck's attacks, it seems like, or a vast majority. And practically none of Flan's. Well, no, we can jump over those. Is that it? That was nice and simple. We're worthy of the diploma. There we go! Stuck it up on the wall for us. And here's our very long plank. Which I'm sure we'll need at some point. Thanks, guys. No, we're good. Thanks, though, man. Ah, it's one of the lost souls again. Why can't anyone hear me? Well, we can. Did we collect that one, then? No, it still says 28 souls left. Ah, uh, here's where we can battle the vampire and Rasta Beast, maybe? Fancy seeing you here in such a spooky place. I'm known as Freddy, here. I've heard that this castle has a heart and a soul. I wonder what that really means. Maybe it has secret rooms? Oh, maybe. Meaning definitely. Hey, Starlight, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. We're trying out this really cool rhythm game based heavily on Undertale today. Here's the Rasta Beast again. So the key to that room is somewhere in a maze, gotcha. A painting of a gray wizard hat. A broken painting ripped in half. Seems to be a painting of a firestorm and lots of suffering. A city in the night. A lightning storm with a human-shaped creature in the middle. A no silhouette with rainbow outlines. So like bosses, perhaps? <laughs> Oh, it's you again. What the hell do you want? Go be annoying somewhere else. Poor... Poor, uh... Emo vampire. Wait! Save point said it was guarding the maze? So if we answer that we want to enter the maze, are we going to have to battle the save point? Oh, or not. Hey, it's Nosferatu. I warn you, Red, the maze monster lurks here. If it finds you, try to escape. It's relentless. That monster guards something. Sorry, I forgot what it was. Oh, that sounds great. What's in here? Oh, it's his home. Very comfy looking. A game console with the super racket inserted. Yeah, we'll play. Starlet says, oh yeah. Undertale. I'm due for another playthrough of that game. That was very cute. A little... That's the second time we've played a game on this channel with a Sega intro knockoff. Okay, so we can deflect his shots now. Oh, what? Okay, okay, never mind. We've got to reflect all of these. This might be kind of hard, actually. Got him! Nice! We got the classic video game master trophy. If you ever want to play again, I will be here. This is my room. It ain't much. Well, that was perfectly fun. I assume we can challenge him at, like, higher difficulties and the like. 
But it's nice that there's an optional, um, an optional boss fight or two in this game. All right, now they said the maze monster is somewhere in here. That's perfectly fine. I like battles, unless this one's completely unwinnable. And looks like it might be. I saw something move down in the corner there, and it looked absolutely horrifying. Hey, there's the key. Well, a key, anyway. You can hear it coming. Muttering to itself all the way. Think we might be good? We are good! Is there a purpose in fighting the thing? I don't know. Eerie sounding, at least. I think we'll stay away for now, just to be safe. Hey, save point. Yeah, we will definitely save. Now I'm curious, are we supposed to go here before the carnival or midnight town? Kind of feels like it. Or, no, kind of feels like this would be the last place we go, right? Well, let's just see what, what all is available and if we have to go back to the Cosmic Hub later. Crystal key broke. Be careful with that stuff. But the door's unlocked. Nice. Can we battle Rasta Beast now? I've got one piece of advice for you. Expect the unexpected. Brother, I... I do. I... I played enough of this game to understand that much now. Not one single thing in this game has unfolded the way I thought it would. Well, I mean, there's practically no coherence to the... the plot or the world building or anything like that. It's a very surrealist game, which is... largely the point. And they said there... there might be... Secret rooms somewhere around here. None that I've discovered yet, though, which doesn't mean anything. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to use a guide for like a second playthrough to make sure we get everything. But right now, just looking around, this is a lot of fun. Alright, let's keep climbing, or take the trap door. Okay, that doesn't give us new content. Never mind. Ah! They changed the uh, direction on the stairwells. That's cute. Well, those both go down, so maybe the stairwell's here. Yep! Did we make it? We sure did. I am Royal Guard of Castle. I guard important. Very important. Part of the door. Okay, what's through here? You still have the biggest challenge ahead of you. Visit the Mirror of Truth and I will allow you to leave my castle. Enter alone only. Okay. I don't have any legs and this guy is mute. Would you really deny us entrance? Uh... Okay, for you two only. Alright. Let's see what's in here. We're visiting the Mirror of Truth, right? Ooh. Funky. The Mirror of Truth looks a bit more like a smart board, but... Okay. Does something happen if we try to leave? I think you should keep trying looking at the mirror. Maybe examining it from other sides. Okay. Okay. 
So now once we've examined it from all angles, look at you. What gives you the right to come here and control me? I wish you'd just leave. You disgust me. This wooden cage. I've not always been like this. I divided myself into pieces to protect everyone. Once you leave, I have to deal with everything. I hate you for it. I wish you could just stop. So we're going to have to fight ourselves? I want you to leave. I don't want to talk to you again. Or not. We got the Red Encounter Trophy, which is something. I think that's our only our second trophy of the game. So we can't trigger a battle with this thing anyway, can we? Alright. Fair enough. Well done, little puppet. You're one step closer to helping us all. In different time, you'll come back. Then you'll slay the beast within and a passage will open. The end is nearing us. You are now free to leave. So, something horrible has happened to this world, and it sounds like nobody is here voluntarily, much like Undertale. Oh, and like that, we're just booted back out to the, the Cosmic Hub, huh? So we're going to unlock other doors as we carry on. Oh, this must be what the, the door handle is for. Yep. I see. And we still don't know what we can do in here, if anything. Oh, another one of the lost souls appears. So as we keep finding them, we will send them here and can eventually do something with them or get something from them, I think. Whoa! What the hell was that? I guess certain items will just trigger at random? Uh, to the carnival then. Come on in and experience the race of your lifetime. Yes, please. Are we being thrown into a battle right away? No. Oh! Hello, Muck. This is different. Double tap direction to run. Hey, my eyes are up here, pal. Okay. So we're actually going to have to race? Is that it? Why me? Why me? Okay, we gathered our third uh, lost spirit. That's something. What is the point of learning new skills? You'll just get bored and forget all that knowledge over time. Maintaining your driving skills, for example. What does anyone get out of that, anyway? I guess when it comes down to it, I need to stop thinking about the future. Enjoy what's in front of me instead of what's ahead. I have to treat my life like I'm going through a cave full of gems, trying to collect as many as I can, because otherwise, what's the point? That's kind of a nihilistic outlook, isn't it? Hey, this is a very cool-looking stone guard. We can move on as we're VIPs. Okay, this guy's got a third name. Now he's Cassius. And he has kind of like a go-kart course for us. I'll reward you with something yummy if you beat the universal record. Okay, sure. We'll give it a try. I'm going to try to do everything we can. Get ready. Let's do it. When we're done, is it going to turn out that there, like, is no universal record because we're the only person he's ever been able to talk into completing this thing? That sounds like a very Undertale thing to do. Okay. We did it! Starlight says, that actually is how I try to think every day. Okay. Okay, receive our award outside the course. Great, what is it? You'll be rewarded with a homemade delicious cake. Not sure if you're capable of digestion since you're made of wood, but maybe you can give it to a friend? Sure. Sure. Fair dues. Is there anyone at all we can think of who would be hungry? Maybe not yet, maybe in the VIP room? Hi there, Red Rider. Can you smell the gasoline? Can you feel the thrill? Are you getting pumped? Do you want to participate in the race? Hell yes, I do. This will get us something cool, I would think. 
Welcome all racers. Tonight and all other nights, we'll race until the end of time. Alright, so it seems to be the crew from the dance club once again. And a couple new faces, like a giant green mushroom and what looked like an eyeball or something? Uh, what? Okay, so this is going to be done in the style of one of the combat games. Oh, guys, this is cool. This is very cool. They're using the same battle system so far three totally different ways. Not all rhythm-based, either. And the music, of course, the soundtrack is phenomenal. All right, we've got to we've got to pull this out somehow. I'm usually not the best at racing games. Much less one with I think it's called parallax scrolling like this. It's going too fast. No such thing. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! No, oh, this might take us a couple tries. Definitely gonna take us a couple tries. Just gotta floor it now. I mean, a lot of these racers are bunched up, so it's not going to take us as long to get to the front of the pack, but still. And we're doing alright so far, though. Red is climbing through the ranks. Thank you, God, we are. Managed to maintain our speed. First two motorists have a really healthy lead, though. That's Rasta Beast, and of course it's the Vampire again. Vampire plays dirty? No way. Now we've got a whole lap just to take them out, or overtake them. And just barely see them, that does not bode well. Yeah, we're probably not gonna get this, but did really well for our first attempt anyway. Eh, eh, eh. We're gaining, but way too slowly, I think. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, fuck! Yeah, that's it. We're screwed. Hey, Lady Underjoyed, hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you for joining us and for lurking. This is going to be a great, great stream. I promise you that. I love this game. Ah, we're, we're screwed. Yep. Gonna have to try again. Charlotte says, though I also try to enjoy things from the past, because the past for me is always better than the present. Well, that doesn't always have to be true, you know. Even in little, seemingly insignificant ways, we can attempt to change our position, our um, condition in life for the better. Even if it's just something as simple as being a little more productive today than I was yesterday. Or um, trying a new experience for the first time or something like that. There's little things we can do. I don't mean like massive life-changing things that can make today and tomorrow much better than yesterday. If we focus on little fun and easy ways when we can improve ourselves or our output, I think. Oh yeah, we're, do we're doing that again. We are doing that again. We, we got this. We got this. We weren't far off. If we had, like, struck obstacles or gone off course maybe one or two fewer times, we would have been just fine. We would have been just fine. Oh, the stone guards are racing too. I didn't notice that. And the thief? Working against us now, is he? Well.
think the last time I played a game like this at length was, uh, oh shit. Um, in Yaxa, in several of the, that series entries, I think, um, Yaxa Zero and Kiwami, they have, um, fully playable versions of Sega's Ridge Racer, no, not Ridge Racer, Outrun, excuse me. And it's also a parallax scrolling based racing game that's a fair bit of fun, as like old arcade racing titles go. I'm also not very good at that game. Um, at least here we've got a phenomenal soundtrack. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That was one of the stone guards, maybe? There goes the thief. Mushroom, pardon me. Brain looking thing. The save points racing against us? Oh, dude. This is so cool. The save point is versatile, man. They're, they're doing a lot of stuff. All right, now it's just Rasta Beast and the vampire left. Woo! I appreciate the warning, Rasta Beast. He, he seems to be a, a monster of honor. Just barely kept our speed there. Got so close to going off off road. Woo! That's tight. We're in a much better place than we were uh, during the last attempt, though. Just so long as we don't lose all of our momentum from connecting with obstacles or going off-road, I'm happy. We're doing good. Also, please feel free to tell me if the audio balance is off, if I'm a little quiet. I will attempt to rebalance things. But everything seems to be good on my end. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep. We were told they they race dirty. That's still not all that impressive, though. Just temporarily occluding our vision and getting a quick burst of speed. That's not too, too bad. Now, as long as we don't choke, we've got it. It's not what I was expecting from a carnival, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah! There we go. Right on, y'all. This is so much fun. It was a pretty narrow victory, but we pulled it out. Only took two attempts for me for a racing stage. That's actually really, really good. Now, what do we win? Congratulations on finishing in first place. Here's your trophy. Oh, we just straight up get a trophy, do we? A plastic cake, okay. And a trophy. The thief is telling us to head back to the Cosmic Hub. I'm not feeling it. I want to see what's behind the VIP um, booth. Or what's in the VIP booth. Ah, theater. Hello, Red. I sometimes come here to relax. I could just let my mind wander a bit and forget about it all. Sorry. Okay, and there's... Oh, Flan, here comes my favorite part of this wonderful film. Can we interact with the screen or take a seat or do anything like that? Or is this just purely here for flavor? I guess it must just be for flavor? Which is nice. I mean, no, no complaints there. Okay, so I guess we have no choice but to head back to the Cosmic Hub. That's all this place has to offer us, it seems like. Kind of a letdown that, but we got to participate in some fun, non-rhythm-based minigames.
It's not really a carnival, though, is it? Hey, Maya, welcome back. We just completed a retro racing segment in what was ostensibly a carnival, but not really. Oh? This is not the door we came in from. Okay! It goes deeper. That's what I was hoping for. And we're thrown into a swamp. Not the swamp we started at, I don't think. Oof, that was quite a fall. Are we going to find a fragment of the door somewhere around here as well? Oh, hey. A shiny gem. Anything? A round gemstone with a hypnotic feeling to it. Well, there's a locked door. Maya says, love a good swamp. Oh, so do I. Especially since the first one in this game featured a techno bluegrass playing frog. I'm, I'm on board with whatever they've got in store for us. Is there going to be another lost soul here? I'll keep my eyes peeled, but I'm not entirely sure since we already found one for this stage. Oh, hello, tree. Anything for us? No? Okay. Who or what is this? You found my eye? Please give it to me. Sure. Yes. I am finally restored. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you of all people saved me. What's that supposed to mean? Are you there as well, little red nose? Aiding the enemy? What? The enemy? The enemy is Gold Pig. Because. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I might have been lost in the woods for ages, but you're the one truly lost. Anyway, I'm not without honor. You've helped me, so I'm in your debt. Now that my vision is restored, I'll be able to use my magic. You seem to be missing an arm? Maybe I can help by removing this giant boulder in your way. This giant square boulder. So we get a pot for our for our troubles. Do we do we not get to fight this guy? Not yet, I suppose. Well, all right. Thank you, Green Mage. Hey, hold on. Now the debt's been repaid. Yep. Now here we go. You're still the enemy. Seeing you in such a weakened state, it would be unfortunate if I didn't take advantage of the situation. Yes. Yes, been a while since we had a good music battle. Let's do it. I'm anticipating something kind of up-tempo and swinging. Nope. Whoa. These skull-shaped projectiles are new. And they deal double damage. Yikes. Gnarly. So it looks like it's got double damage waves as well. I love the little visual effects it's constantly emitting. Easy, easy. That can't be it. It is? Okay, fine. That wasn't too bad at all. It seems you're still strong, even without your arm. But you know, I don't really care about any of this. I just want to have a good time. Thanks to you, now I can. I'll still remember that you helped me. I won't bother you anymore, unless you bother me. Have fun in the mushroom forest. I've endured enough here without going insane. <laughs> and that reminds me, I'm extremely late to an appointment. See you around. Huh. Are we in the mushroom forest? There's something about this place, but I can't remember. Well, that certainly happened. Maya says, I like Green Mage, he's fun. Oh, all this game's characters are great so far. Even the save point has a bizarrely um, developed personality. It's very Undertale. Oh, this is the little rabbit we saw a mirage of in the hub. Speaking of, we've not seen a save point in ages now, have we? I'm really
really interested to see what Midnight Town will be like. But it looks like there's a lot to explore here first. I am the guardian of the Mushroom Forest. There will come a time when we shall talk, but it will not be tonight. Okay. Just keep them in mind, then. You found me. I don't consider myself so good at hiding as the others, but you still have seven to find. Ah, oh, that's right. We have to uh, track down the different mushrooms. Or rather, we can as part of a side quest. Remember, the mushroom invited us to do so when we first encountered him back in the dance club. Here's another. Gosh darn, you found me. It's hard hiding with such a big fancy hat. I love these mushroom people. Here's another. Okay. Curious what we get for this. Ah, there's a very obvious mushroom and a save point. Each of the mushrooms has their own pattern of speech. That's adorable. Can't imagine the amount of man hours that went into just writing and fine tuning all of this. Hello, beige dancing mushroom. Kind of looks like a shiitake. Or just straight up is a shiitake. Is this one of them as well? I don't I don't think so, but Hey, save point, it's been a while. This time we'll overwrite that save file. Don't run around too much time here. If you spend too much time in the mushroom forest, you might change. As in into a mushroom? I'm I'm good without that, thank you. Oh, this is the mushroom that did decently well in the race, I think. And our last mushroom. White Rock Mushroom. We'll be waiting in the Sacred Gate far to the west. Okay, so with the, uh... With the Forest Spirit, right? What is this? Can we interact with that? No. It's an interesting take as well on very minimalistic design. Oh! We've got a- we've got a beat now. Talk to the Divine Mushroom. I'm the Guardian of the Mushroom Forest. I'll open a passage for you. Let me tell you that this is entirely optional. You're not forced to be here. This is only for the ones seeking answers. There will come a time when we shall talk, but it will not be tonight. Hell yeah! We've opened an optional path that might give us some clues to what's going on here. I'll take it- oh. Hello, brown slim mushroom. Welcome to my domain. For your efforts of indulging my kin, giving them some joy, I cannot offer you much. But I can give you a tribute of inexperience. This will be a challenge unlike any other. But are you willing to risk your soul? Is this thing the super boss? Oh man, I... We've got a save file, and unless they pull some Undertale mess on us and erase it if we happen to lose this once, I think we can handle. I'm neither glad nor sad. I just hope you'll find peace in your endeavors. Thank you, Mushroom. Take a few steps back. Good. Now let this happen. Things might get strange. Stranger than the gnomes! Oh, strap in, kids. This is about to get really weird. It's not moving at all, it's just emitting energy from its eyes. Never mind. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. It's time to get weird. Uh, fitting that the boss in this case is a mushroom. Oh dear. Oh no. It's gonna get really rough, isn't it? Okay. And our vision's distorting, just like with the gnomes. Nothing I can't handle so far, though. Oh god, the gnomes are back! Hello, human. Hey. Hey. 
Can you see us? B barely! Oh, dear lord. It's not gotten rough yet, but it's about to, isn't it? It's about to drop. Why are you here? Uh, because I want a trophy? I want to see everything we can access in the game? You know, good reasons. Mine says long boy. Yeah! And I, I have a feeling he's not even what we're fighting anymore at this point. You're hurting. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be your doing, buddy. Please quit. No? Ah, at least we get our arena back. I've missed it. This has been oddly tranquil so far. Psychedelic, but tranquil. Yep. And it's about to pick up again. Okay. Oh no. The reflectiveness of the arena is not helping out here. Whoo, dear. Yikes. We're surviving so far. But I have a feeling we're still nowhere near done. No, nope, afraid not. Or are we? Did we manage? Hey! Okay. We're back to this screen. It seems like you're back. Did you know what you were getting yourself into? You don't have to keep coming back. We're always watching. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Did you have something to do? Being it is not always easy. Have you come to hear an absolute truth? Okay, you know what? They said don't do it last time. Uh, I've been... Based on what we've been told, we probably don't want to do what the narrator says. So, yeah. There's a risk you might change upon hearing it. Sometimes not for the good. Are you sure you want to hear an absolute truth? Yeah, sure. There are several absolute truths. One of them is... You are me, and I am you. Even the ones you hate and love. Remain true to yourself. Your thoughts were never yours, anyway. Take this truth. It is now in your hands to truly interpret. Oh, I should have grasped the first one. Wouldn't offer the choice then, shouldn't we? It's humorous how you wanted to experience this life. We told you many times not to go into this. You thought it would be fun. And here you are. We look forward to sit, talk, and laugh about all of this when we return. You must go forward. We got the second absolute truth. Missed the first one, damn it. We'll let you return to your world. We hope you'll find what you're looking for. You must now leave. Okay, th thank you. Um, good payoff for a minor side quest, I think. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that experience. You strike me as an adventurous character. Take this precious gemstone. It might be useful. Someday. Maybe not this day. I thank you. That is... Okay, it's the only gem we have now because we gave the other back to the mage. I guess we're ready just to move on then? Like, barrel through the sucker? And maybe between this and our next stream, I'll go back through um, doing basically everything the same on uh, a different save file and actually grab the first absolute truth on our way here. I don't... I don't know. I might. If I've got the time. All right, now let's just hoof it out of here. Whoa. We've got to sprint across the water then. What, pray tell, has captured us? You really stepped into something bad now. Okay, who are these characters? <laughs> I finally caught the wooden pestilence. I'll make sure it won't be able to escape with my defibrillatory stun gun. It will hurt a bit. It'll 
It'll take months before we can use that stun gun again. We better make do of this opportunity, Grundle. Go pick it up and bring it to the lair now, Grundle! Hurry up, you doofus! Well, I love their theme at the very least. Such an interesting game. I may not be able to grasp the plot entirely, I've got a rough idea of what's going on, but uh, all of the characters and environments we find ourselves thrust before are really, really cool. Oh, and yay, we've been disassembled again. I don't even want to talk about the things I've seen here. You could save your progress here. Yeah, I'll save. Nice. Good luck getting out of here. Ugh, what happened? Ah, never mind. You can't talk anyway. Pick me up and let's get out of here. Okay, I guess we'll have to throw down with Grundle. Get out of our way! Step away or prepare for trouble. And now it's going to fight us. I'm interested to see how this one shakes out. Probably won't be psychedelic, but... Really intense, maybe? Oh, this is nasty. All right. He is also just dancing, which is fine by me. Alright, we can dodge these sections easily enough. It's when he starts kicking the green notes that things get a little dicier. The blues and reds haven't been a problem so far. I love how he's doing all this footwork without... Oh no. He's getting energized. I was about to say without hardly moving the rest of his body, but I think like his fingers are twitching a bit. Uh, let's not do that again, Grundle, thank you. Of course he's going to do it again, but... Yep, here it comes. And he's out! Maya says, dance, pickle man, dance. He, he does look like a humanoid pickle, doesn't he? That completely escaped me. Ugh. Well, good fight, buddy. I guess we'll have to take on the professor next? A strange-looking machine. You have awakened just in time. My masterpiece is about to be unleashed. Oh, this is gonna be good. I've constructed an artificial replication of an ancient creature. Its raw energy makes it so powerful it can only exist for a limited time. It's the only chance to bring you down and establish peace once and for all. Prepare to face your doom, red mage! Oh, so we're one of, uh, Gold Pig's mages, then. Or we were. We're something inhabiting its body. What on earth could this possibly be? Whoa. Oh my god. Uh, well, this is not what I was anticipating. Some kind of disco demon. <laughs> 